Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we taste the Artbeck Ugedal. It's a powerful, intense, peaty single malt whiskey from the Isle of Isla. 54.2 ABV, quite strong. And I tasted already the Artbeck 10, which is the normal bottle, the normal single malt whiskey from this Hebridian, inner Hebridian distillery from the Isle of Isla. And uh, <clears throat> this Ugedal is the cask strength, no, the high strength uh, regular bottling from the Artbeck distillery. It carries no age statement on it. And when it was first released around 2002, I think, um, they had old whiskies from sherry casks in the bottles. And today, of course, the old stocks of Artbeck are long gone now. <clears throat> and the Artbeck still carries around 10% of sherry cask matured single malt whiskies in this bottle. The name Ugedal comes from a sweet water loch up high over the distillery and I once uh, hiked up to this uh, Loch Ugedal to have a, a dinner and a night in tents uh, at the Loch Ugedal and the uh, weather turned foggy and cold and stormy and everything was chilling. So it was quite an interesting travel up to the roots of the Ugedal single malt whiskey. Uh, and I have a video of this travel to the Loch Ugedal. Very good. Uh, afterwards we visited the distillery and before that we flew out to the Isle of Isla in helicopters. And there are also two videos of these <clears throat> wonderful travels. Um, this Artbeck Ugedal, yes, the purists say, ooh, Artbeck and Sherry Cass, that does not, harmony, there's no harmony in it. It's, it's unnormal for Artbeck. So the old Sherry, uh, the old Bourbon casks, uh, the maturation in bourbon casks, that's, that's the normal thing for Artbeck and a sweeter and weaker and not so uh, peaty uh, single malt whiskey from Artbeck is not the real Artbeck. But uh, they gave the Artbeck Udal uh, more ABV than the standard 10 year old whiskey. They also used younger, that means stronger, malt whiskies in the mixture um, and uh, sherry casks mean on one hand uh, more fruitiness, more smoothness, but on the other hand more oakiness, more spiciness. So we will see. There are several... Uh, oh, let's have first look at the box. Artbeck Ugedal the ultimate Isla single malt scotch whiskey, non-chill filtered. An intense symphony of smoky peat reek, scumption fruit cake and leather, warm and deep with a spicy kick, long luscious and full bodied. That's it. The Artbeck distillery lies on the most southerly part of Isla and on the rugged shores of the Atlantic Ocean. Artbeck is revered around the world as the peatiest, smokiest, most complex whiskey of them all. Mm, no longer true. Uh, there is also the Lafroic single malt whiskey from the Isle of Isla. It's a neighbor, or a, not the neighbor, but a neighbor of the distillery which is also very smoky, very intense. And they call themselves the most richly flavored of all Scotch whiskey. So there is a <clears throat> yeah, competition between those two distilleries. Uh, mm, 
Rather, the peat gives way to the malt, the natural sweetness of which subtly intrudes, producing perfect balance. And so on. Artberg Ugedal, pronounced Ugedal, takes its name from the brooding, mysterious loch which provides the peat laden water for Artberg. Mm, no, the peat level in the water is so small that there is no real influence of the smoke for the smokiness from this water. It wouldn't matter if you use this water or a deionized de ionized, uh, distilled water. There will be no real difference in it because the peat levels are so small in the water. The peat you bring into the malt whiskey by using uh, peat fire smoke. This is the real peat laden freight which is in these bottles. Uh, this is a special vetting of different styles of Artbeck, marrying together uh, its traditional deep smoky notes with the luscious sweet raisiny notes of old ex sherry casks. Here it's said again. Non chill filtered at high strength which, which retains maximum flavor and gives more body and added depth. With water a little cloudiness may occur which is perfectly natural. And then there is the, a map how you reach the Loch Uridal above the Ardbeck distillery. <clears throat> Here on the bottle, there is a small number somewhere down here in the lower part of the bottle, uh, and this is the batch number. And this batch number typically starts with an L. And the first two figures behind this L means uh, the vintage of the bottling. So this is L13, means uh, 2013, it was put into the bottle. Um, now we have, uh, we write the year 2014, it's late summer, and the uh, batch 2013 is typically in the market now. It takes quite a while until the new batches of 2014 and then 15 and go on. Uh, goes through the market, uh, typically in the, the holiday season when the sales are very high, then they switch over to the next year. So this 2014 is quite normal and uh, it is said that there are small differences uh, in these years and these batches and I have to say yes, uh, that's true, but these differences aren't that big. So there are differences, yes. Some say it's very important to have the 2009 bottling blur. Uh, well, I say there are differences, but they are not that big. Little smokiness, but a lot of fruitiness at the cork. So it's 54.2 ABV. I will not uh, taste this whiskey without a dilution. So I have my small craft with still water here, and now let's have a first sniff. Very intense, very smoky, and a little fruity. The sherry is already here. And there's a faint note of tobacco. Not burnt tobacco, but fresh tobacco. I'm no smoker, so I like the taste, the odor of a fresh opened pipe tobacco tin. That's it. This is the wonderful side of tobacco. When it's burnt, I don't like it very much. No, not very much. I do not like it. That's the right way. But this fresh aromatic note a little sweetness, caramel, fudge. Vanilla, of course, but not too much. Vanilla is quite faint in the distance. Still a lot of smokiness and the alcohol is coming through. Let's add a very little water, just to reach 50%. <clears throat> Some 
cloudiness coming up. It's unchill filtered, so this is normal. With water, there's less smoke in this whiskey. There are some whiskies which develop more smoke if you add water and others which reduce the smoky note. This is one which reduces the smoke and brings out the fruit. Ah, sweet. Sweet malt. Yeah, and this smoke is very interwoven with this aromatic, fruity, malty character. Wonderful. Still strong, very intense, but a sweetness in your mouth. It's mouth-watering. A little oiliness appears. And the smoke is coming back. You know? A little, a faint dryness from the back, from the oak, from the European oak of the sherry casks fights against the sweetness, the mouth-watering mouth sweetness from the sherry. <sighs> Wonderful aromatic, a long, long aftertaste. One of my real favorites. It's not that biting, not that intense. It's it's strong, it's full, but it's also sweet and it's also fruity and it's well-rounded. It's complex, it has harmony. And this is the difference between the 10-year-old, which is quite straightforward, even when the 10-year-old is perhaps older than this whiskey without an age statement on it. Oh, it's the more classic way, the classic style of art back, and this one is much more complex, fuller. Thank you for watching whiskey.com. Stay tuned, there's more to come. Feel free to share this video with your friends and feel free to discuss this video with us on our newly opened forum.